I didn't start grouse hunting until after I graduated from college, so it wasn't until an ex-college roommate invited me to go along. And grouse and woodcock was the first thing we tried, and I've stuck with it ever since. I love being outside in the fall in the woods. It's just no better time and no better place to be. You've got the, the perfect temperatures, the sights and smells of the autumn woods. Starting in the early season in September, we get to go out. There's still a lot of leaves on the trees and it's hot and buggy, but at least it gives us a chance to limber our legs and let the dog out and see a few different birds. October in Minnesota is just magical. The heat is gone, the leaves are coming down, you get the crisp fall air with maybe a little bit of frost on the grass in the morning. It's just a beautiful, beautiful time to be outside. We pull up, find the spot, we have to get our uh, gear on, you've got to get the gun out, you've got to load the vest with the shells, drink some water, make sure that you've got your GPS set, and then let the dogs out and let them burn off a little bit of steam. And once all that's ready, we uh, find our path into the woods and head out. But you need a good, comfortable pair of boots that'll keep your feet dry. Being able to follow the dog that has a sense that can actually smell the grouse rather than us just stumbling upon one by accident, uh, it's, it's really thrilling. It's, the, it's just beautiful scenery, you're out in beautiful country, and uh, with the leaves down, you actually get to see the birds when they take off. And watching the dog when they go on point, and then having that flush afterwards, it's just it's really thrilling. Grouse camp is always another thing I look forward to every fall. Getting a number of us together that have shared the passion, have a common interest in grouse hunting. And once the day is done, it's always fun to get back and with the other group of hunters and recount the stories from the day and share the experiences, the hits and the misses, how the dogs do. Well, when we are successful and get a bird and get a grouse, you can't let it go to waste, it's too good to, to let it go. And I usually like to just do it very simply. I just put it in a pan with a little bit of butter and fry it up and maybe some salt and pepper and it's, 